Okay, in this video we're going to look at the squeeze theorem for multivariable limits and an example. So let's say that the limit as xy approaches AB of LXY is the same thing as that limit for UXY, which is L. And LXY is less than or equal to F of XY, which is less than or equal to U of XY near AB, and I won't define that. Then the limit as xy approaches ab of f of xy is l. So this is like a nice generalization of the squeeze theorem for one variable limits. Okay, so we're going to use this to calculate the following limit. So we want the limit as xy approaches the origin of x squared sine squared y over x squared plus y squared. And the tricky part here is finding um, what's happening to the bounding functions. So notice that near... 0, 0, we have the following. So all of these are positive because, or bigger than or equal to 0, I should say, because everything there is squared. We have uh, x squared sine squared y, which is over x squared plus y squared. Okay, so now we can rewrite this a little bit. So this is less than or equal to x squared over x squared plus y squared. To all of that times sine squared y. Good. But now what we can notice is that if we remove the denominator part here given by this plus y squared, then we have made the denominator smaller. And if we make the denominator smaller, we make the whole thing bigger. So here we're using this fact that um, x squared plus y squared is bigger than or equal to x squared, which implies that 1 over x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1 over x squared. Great. And now what we can do is just take this and multiply it by x squared, but that's going to give this that this is less than or equal to 1. Okay, good. So that means all of this is less than or equal to 1, which makes this whole thing less than or equal to sine squared of y. Now the next thing we can also notice is that the limit as xy approaches the origin of sine squared y is an easy calculation given the fact that sine squared is continuous at the origin. So we can just plug in zero and we'll end up with zero. So here we have a lower function which is already equal to zero and then we have an upper function which is easily approaching zero, which tells us that our final limit is equal to zero by applying the squeeze theorem. All right, this is a good place to end this video.